So, while most people were out watching generational trauma and transforming red pandas, I instead decided to watch this. Mainly because I learned about it from a trailer all the way back from 2016. Back when it was called Beast of Burden. And getting its official release only a few years back in 2019. A little bit of a wait, but I've had to endure worse waiting times. But I was definitely interested in it. And surprisingly, despite what the newer trailers looked like, this was actually a pretty good movie. Scratch that, a really good movie. Honestly, if you're looking for a family film, this is one I highly recommend. So, what's the story, you may ask? In another world and another time, there exists these strange talking animals called Thorophants. Bigger than a horse, stronger than an ox, and more importantly, a lot smarter than both. Of these Thorophants is Mosley, living a typical life expected for his kind, a rather rough life plowing fields for his master, but he does enjoy life as much as he can with a wife, a son, and even a second child on the way. That is, until Mosley stumbles across an unusual sight. Pictures depicting Thorofins walking upright. Possible proof that the Thorofins were originally more than just animals. Realizing what this could mean, and with his son threatened with being sold off, Mosley runs off in search of these mythical uprights in hope that they can free him and his family. Spoiler, he does find the uprights, but all the while being tracked down by a Thorofint hunter who is more than eager to finish any job he accepts. Now, what do I like about this movie, you may also ask? Well, it's honestly just a wholesome movie. It's not complicated, but Mosley himself is a really likable character with a completely relatable motive. He wants to help his family. And besides, with a future like this, who'd blame him? And there's just an infectious charm about him that gets to me every time as does a lot of the other characters. They aren't Shakespeare, but they all have unique personalities that make them stand out in their own unique way. From a tamed comic relief whose comedy comes from his interactions more than outright jokes, to the old hermit whose mind is fading but is respected as the oldest of all Thorofants, to the son who is fully aware of his situation but must face the more than likely inevitable while carrying the weight that his father left him with. I even like Mosley's owner. Sure, he is not a character that's likable, but through facial expressions alone, they paint him as a character who, deep down, may not be as heartless as we see him as. It's little touches like that that makes a movie stand out to me. Not to mention, the one thing I liked most about this movie is its subversion of the liar revealed trope. I won't spoil it, but it's not exactly a lie per se, and it does not lead up to a big mopey dopey scene either. It hits hard by the fact that Mosley was faced with something he was not expecting, and this is resolved almost as quickly as it begins. I also like the fact that this movie actually kept me on my toes when the hunter was on screen. Unlike something you'd get with most studios nowadays, they aren't afraid of having this guy cause actual damage. And very light spoilers, he does technically make some progress. Another thing I like is, this movie does look as good as something you'd get from a premiere animation studio. The landscapes, the towns, it all looks great. And the best part? This movie never devolves to being a copycat of either Pixar or DreamWorks. This is its own unique thing with its own unique ideas. And hey, because of that, I think it works better than most recent animated movies we've gotten. Heck, when the ending came up, I even felt myself getting choked up with joy. I haven't felt that way in a long time. That goes to tell you just how much of an impact it had on me. While I doubt it'd win Best Picture, I definitely think this film is a win in my book and a definite recommendation from yours truly.